path loss, antenna gain, data rate, and link budget example. Moon-based Earth communication scenario. In 2030, a scientific research station on the Moon is transmitting data via a 20 dB gain antenna at 3 GHz RF frequency. The NASA receiving the station on Earth has a 25 meter parabolic antenna with efficiency factor of 0.55. The noise temperature of the receiver front end is at 290 degree Kelvin on Earth. NASA requires an EB over N0 or EBNO of 8 dB to enable coded 16 QAM modulation with code rate of 0.75. 1. Determine the spectral efficiency of this space communication link. 2. What should be the transmit power of the moon base to have a hundred megabit per second downlink communication to Earth. Um, so for first question, uh, we would like to have a 16 quam communication. The raw number of bits on a 16 quam symbol are four bits. Now, this is a coded modulation with a code rate of 0.75. So for part one, <clears throat> what we have is um, four raw bits given um, 16 quam communication times 0.75 which is the code rate uh, it means one out of every four bit is just consumed for coding purposes effectively so it leaves you with three effective uh, bits or alternatively you can say uh, three bit per second per hertz. <clears throat> so that is the spectral efficiency of this communication link. Two, uh, what should be the transmit power of the moon base to have a hundred megabit per second downlink? All right, for this we need to deal with link budget, meaning that first we need to figure out, uh, given the requirements, what is uh, the required receive power um, on Earth at Earth station and then based on that, backtrace the whole thing back to the transmit antenna on the moon. So what we can do is, um, first, uh, knowing that uh, the uh, noise temperature um, for at the receiving uh, antenna on Earth, given that uh, the noise temperature is given uh, 290 degree Kelvin, then the N naught or energy of the noise is KT, which is K is Boltzmann constant, and it is 1.38, uh, 10 to the minus 23, and temperature is 290 degree Kelvin. <coughs> so we end up with roughly 4, uh, 10 to the minus 21 watt per hertz for n naught, which is uh, effectively minus 204 uh, db watt per hertz for n naught. Why do we need this? Because uh, eb over n naught is given to us, uh, which is 8 db that is required by NASA in this example. From there, if I have n naught, which I just calculated, um, then I can uh, see what is the minimum required energy per bit, uh, which is EB. So, and then from there I can proceed with finding total received power requirement. So total received power needed, according to this scheme here, is just energy of bit times uh, the desired data rate, which is 100 megabit per second in this case. Or effectively, you can say EB times RB. RB is the target data rate. Uh, so I need to find EB. In this case, what I can do is um, EB over N naught is given to be 8 dB. Uh, from here, uh, in a linear scale, I have EB is... 10 to the 8 dB divided by 10, 10 to the 0.8 times n naught, 
which means uh, roughly 6.31 times uh, 4 times 10 to the minus 21 that we just computed here for n naught, which does translate to roughly 2.52 uh, 10 to the minus 20 joules um, for EB. All right. So now I can substitute EB with this. So I have uh, 2 to the 52 times 10 to the minus 20 and RB, the required data rate, is 100 megabit per second, which is uh, effectively 10 to the 8 bit per second. So from here, uh, the total received power needed is roughly uh, 2 to the 52, 10 to the minus 12 watt. which is roughly also minus 116 dB watt in dB term. That is total received power required in this scenario. All right, so uh, now what I need to is, uh, uh, I know that the total received power in dB term according to link budget, is just the transmitted power in dB plus the gain of transmit antenna in dB. This is dB watt, by the way. And the gain of receive antenna, these are also dBi, uh, minus free, scale, uh, free space path loss in dB. So I need to compute these things. I have, uh, uh, this is the part that I would like to find. Uh, this is the word, the part that we just computed. So this is uh, the desired received power or the required received power. GT is given to us, which is 20 dB antenna gain for transmit antenna. So this thing is 20 dB. GR, I need to compute. Free space path loss, I need to compute. So for uh, GR, we know that... Um, uh, the general formula is 10 log 10, um, 4 pi times effective aperture for the, uh, for the receive antenna divided by lambda square. Lambda is wavelength. And this translates to 10 log 10, uh, 4 pi. Effective area is just... Uh, uh, efficiency factor times the area of parabolic, effective area of parabolic antenna, which is just pi times r square, r is the radius of the parabolic antenna, and lambda square, we, we just need to compute that one. By the way, 4 times r square is just d square, so we can also rewrite this as 10 log 10 pi uh, 4 times r square is d square, that is the diameter square, over lambda square times effect, times uh, what is referred to as the uh, efficiency factor of the um, receive antenna, which is 0.55 given to us. So if you compute this, given that pi is known, lambda, we can actually compute it, lambda is just c over f, C is the speed of light, 10 to the 8 meter per second. Uh, F is the frequency of communication, which is 10 gigahertz, 10 to the 9 hertz. And so lambda is just 0.1 meter. Okay, so if I put lambda 0.1 meter, D 25 meter, and if, uh, efficiency factor of the receive antenna 0.55, then this becomes uh, roughly... Um, 55.3 dBi or dB for the uh, receiver antenna gain. Receiver <coughs> antenna gain is 55.3 dBi roughly. 
Now the only unknown remaining is free space path loss in dB, which is the easiest part to compute because um, in this case it is just as simple as 20 log 10, 4 pi, the distance between the transmit, and transmit on the moon and receive on the earth, uh, divide by lambda, and we know roughly that distance between earth and moon is 384,000 kilometers, so it is uh, 384 times 10 to the 6 meter uh, divide by lambda, which is 0.1 meter. If you calculate this, you end up with uh, free space path loss, roughly uh, 213.7 dB. That's a very large uh, path loss. Okay, so now that we have this last needed component, I can just replace everything into the equation that we just found here. So I can say, so I'm going to just replace and substitute P of R, the desired receive power is minus 116 dB watt. So minus 116 uh, dB watt is equal to unknown transmit power plus GT, the gain of transmit antenna is given to be 20 dB here. So 20 dB plus GR, we just computed 55.3 dB and minus free space path loss minus 213.7. Every So the only unknown is P of T, which if you compute then uh, required transmit power is roughly 174 um, watt, which is roughly 22.4 dB watt. With this transmit power, we can enable a communication link that satisfies what is required by NASA, enabling EB over N0 or EBNO of 8 dB and 100 megabit per second downlink communication. Uh, interestingly, when transmit antenna is transmitting 174 watts, assuming, uh, let's say, an efficiency of uh, 10%, the actual power consumption of the transmitter would be roughly 1.7 kilowatt. Um, and it would be interesting to think about what sort of uh, solar panels would need it near a station to satisfy this power consumption, though we can assume that this is not a 24-7 communication link. Uh, hope you like this example. If you like, then you might enjoy also another example uh, that I have dealt with in a separate problem, which is this one. So this one is also a link budget uh, bitrate analysis example. Uh, for geosatellite communication in which uh, a satellite is orbiting around the Earth at 37,000 kilometers above the Earth station, above the Earth's surface, at 3 gigahertz frequency with a transmit downlink power of 200 watt. Um, and with given information, the question is determine the received power and the maximum bitrate of this satellite communication system. If you're interested, uh, I have solved this problem in another video. Uh, hope you like this. Uh, video that we just went together uh, for the path loss and antenna gain and data rate and link budget of a moon-based to Earth communication scenario. Thank you.